Hey, good morning. So, still talking about my fiber journey, y'all. It's the one that keeps giving. It's the gift that keeps giving in terms of wisdom. And so today, one of the things that I realized while I was on my wise woman wellness walk with my friend and soul sister love and Howard Law alum, Tanya, was that stress. Wow. Stress is really powerful. And I think that the fibroids in my uterus, when I learned that I had them in 2001 and when I had them removed in 2003, and that time in between from 2001 to 2003 when I was working on putting into place some very deep healing practices that I still embrace and still use, one of the things that I really began to see was how the choices that I make the people that I'm around, the things that I allow into my life, the experiences, some stuff I can't control, you know, because society and the, the trauma and the, all of the different things that have happened to me as a woman of African descent in America and my ancestors, it shows up in the body. It shows up in the body and the fibroids were probably the first time I got to see how it shows up and it impacts the body. And so one of the biggest lessons that I got as a result of that journey is how important it is for me to take care of my body and to move my body, to honor my body, to engage in practices that help me release, manage, cope with, transform the stress that comes from being in this world as how I am. Wow. When I saw the picture of the three fibroids that came out of me and then over the years there were smaller ones that um, they did not remove, but they were um, baby ones and they were growing just a little bit. And now at 58, knowing that they're on the downward cycle of um, dissolving, because as you age as a woman, the fibroids will, you know, the smaller ones, they're not bothering me. So they'll eventually go away on their own. Now, even with those that are not bothering me, I know that I have to take care of myself. I have to embrace my self-care birthright each and every day. So moving my body, how I talk to myself, how I think, all of these different things. If I'm engaging in things that have me feeling some kind of way, like I've been struggling with some stuff, I got to take the time to take care of myself. I got to check in. I got to check in and like I said in one of my other videos, being in community of sacred support, having that community of sacred support is one of the ways that I get the accountability, the affirmation, um, and that support to care for my body. Like having these walks with my, my friend Tanya, we've been walking since... January. We started playing tennis in the fall last year. So we've had movement um, for many months now. And it gives me something to um, wake up to. You know, especially on days when I struggle. So what, what is happening to your body, to your spirit, your heart, and your mind when stress enters? How are you affected by the stress? And then how can you navigate that stress? How can you begin to care for yourself? Sometimes the stress is, is the volume is so high that you're not able to escape it. 
However, you can take care of yourself in a deeper way. If that is something that you are seeking right now, I want to invite you to join me for the Soft as Fuck Sunday on Sunday, June 25th. I know in some of my videos I said 26, so forgive me. It's June 25th from 2 to 3 p.m. at Key Cretone CBDT, 1517 U Street, Northwest in D.C. I will have an online option available, so look out for more information in the next video and on social media. And if you'd like to get direct information from me, go to my website at anandalik.com forward slash soft one to register. And then when you go to the website, just go to anandalik.com and sign up to get the email updates because I'll be sending something out this weekend. So my prayer for you, for us, because we're all in this together, is that we use the summer season, we use the summer solstice, which is kicking in next week, the new moon in Gemini, which is kicking in on Saturday, June the 17th, that we take advantage of this time to deepen our commitment to our birthright of self-care. It's this ability to be aware of what's happening in the present moment and to nurture ourselves in uplifting ways. And everybody's self-care practices are different. What works for me may not work for you. So you have to like figure out what's working for you. And each season is different, each month is different, each day is different. I know for me right now, getting up and getting out early works. Having a daily yoga practice works now. Having time to journal works. Having time to talk and walk and play tennis works for me. Having time to give myself Reiki. Showering in the morning and in the evening and giving myself time in those showering experiences to just be in the water. All of that, wearing lipstick, wearing my favorite black woman lawyer sweatshirt, wearing my my jewelry. <laughs> All of that helps me. So what helps you? I will talk to you next time. Again, go to anandalik.com forward slash soft, S-O-F-T, to get more information about the Soft as Fuck Sunday on June the 25th from 2 to 3 p.m. in D.C. Look out for more information about another online offering um, in the coming days. Take care. Many blessings. And may we all continue to embrace thriving mindfully in everything that we think, feel, say, and do. See ya. Bye.